Good morning and good morning to you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away Monday morning episode. I hope you guys are well. Um, it was absolutely scorching, guys, here in North London yesterday. 30 plus degrees. Um, it, uh, honestly, if people are suffering with hay fever, it was an absolute nightmare. But today's a little bit cooler, perfect climate to, to, to work in, much more better than yesterday. But so... Thankfully, we get we breathe again. I hope you guys are all well. How's things in your part of the world? How's the weather where you guys are? We move on to uh, the Spurs target. So we've sorted out the goalkeeper situation. We now moving on to the defenders. Carter Vickers, an old name for Spurs and a player that's worked with under 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 uh, Postacoglu. He's the latest that's been um, in the short included in the short list that could potentially make a return to Spurs. Um, Van der Veen is the new one. Van der Ven? Van der Ven is the new, is the new name that's linked with Spurs. Um, as is uh, Tapsoba. So we've got a few names that are, are getting, you know, thrown about at the moment that, that are linked to Spurs. Which one of them would actually uh, be part of it? Obviously not forgetting that Longley is still part of the, it could possibly return to Spurs. Um, perhaps as a squad player. Um, but we'll read on this this article here. It says Tottenham have, have, have added Wolfsburg Mickey van der Ven to a shortlist which includes Edmund Tepsoba of Bayer Leverkusen as they search for a new centre back. So the identity is left centre back, left footed left centre back, but they're after to partner Romero in the back four as we've previously spoken about. Talks have already taken place with Van der Ven's agents after the Dutch left-sided defender, who can also play left-back, enjoyed a breakthrough season in the Bundesliga, playing in all but one of Wolfsburg league games. The 22-year-old was included in Louis van Gaal 39-man preliminary World Cup 2022 squad, but did not make the final cut. Van der Ven is still uncapped at senior level, but is part of the Netherlands squad at the Euro Euro European Under-21 Championship. So... They're currently the Euros are currently taking place as we speak. So, where, where it's, it'd be a good opportunity to have a look at some of those games and particularly Netherlands to see get a better idea of the of the player. Another potential target for Tottenham is Tapsoba, who has played a key role in Leverkusen's resurgence under Xavier Alonso this season. The 24-year-old Burkina Faso international made 47 appearances in all competitions last term. Tottenham will also uh, make a renewed push. Now we'll go on to Madison, which is the attacking midfield area, which we do require that creative spark. Um, and you guys have heard me speak about this guy for a while now. Um, le but let's read on what um, the Guardian Sport is saying. James, um, so the Tottenham will also make a renewed push to sign the Leicester attacking midfielder James Madison next week. The England international remains the priority target for new manager Andre Postacoglu. In that position, uh, with Spurs thought to be ahead of Newcastle in the race after the Magpies made uh, securing a deal for Milan, Sandra Tonali their priority. Spurs are rebuilding this summer under Postacoglu after missing out on European football for next season. A deal is in place for the Empoli goalkeeper Guillermo Vicario, uh, whilst Kuliszewski has joined permanently from Juventus on a five-year contract after 18 months on loan in North London. Um, look, talking about Madison, for me, uh, as uh, you guys can imagine, it's, it's, what more can I say than what I've already have? So we, we, we won't, we won't, we'll see what happens uh, this week, it, it looks from what's been reported that he favours the move to Tottenham over to Newcastle. Um, so we we will wait to see how that gets on. But regarding defenders, uh, Tapsoba, Van der Ven, uh, like I said, uh, Carter Vickers is getting getting spoken about as well. And Longley, um, I, I'm steering more towards Tapsoba. Um, because of the, he's already played like a numerous amount of games under under um, 
under Xavi Alonso, 47 appearances this season. That's not to say, you know, Van der Ven is any less or anything like that. I just think, well, having played the amount of games that he's has, he's already experienced, you know, Bundesliga. And he's played in, he's played um, European games as well. So I see him probably as a better suited player. Um, it probably what more than what we require um, for our team. Is it an established? Are they any of them an established name? Um, no. I, 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 in my head and in my mind, I would rather someone a bit more experienced to take over that role, to have that leadership role, to have that calming influence that I, I feel is required to play alongside someone like Christian Romero. Um, so I don't know how you know a, a Dutch. Uh, you know, a Dutch player um, like Van der Ven and 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 uh, Burkina Faso international in uh, Tapsoba, are they likely to 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 to, to, to link well um, with 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 Romero? Are they that calming influence? Are they that experienced player? I, I don't. I'm not too sure, guys. Um, I probably need to look in a little bit more. I would definitely be keeping an eye out on Netherlands games in the Euros. To try and get a better idea on how the, the Van der Ven's characteristics, as well as technical ones, the characteristics of the player, um, to see, to see, to, to get a better idea on him. Obviously, Longley, I know, I, I wouldn't, but listen, if we get rid of the the the, the, the Davises and, and the Sanchez's and the Dyer and stuff like that, and we include um, Longley, once those, um, you know, those spots are being you know, cleared, I wouldn't mind having Longley in a squad, not a problem at all, but not to add to those uh, already. I wouldn't want that. I, w I don't want the situation that we had last season. So, I don't know. The defender, the defender is, for me, is such a key, key role. Um, you know, the goalkeeper situation. Now we want to get the centre back. I think it's so, so important that we get that right defender in place. Um, before we obviously, like like I said, Madison's no point talking about Madison because we all know about Madison. We know he's a, he's, a, he's a seasoned pro in the Premier League and we know exactly what he could bring in that position at Tottenham. So I'm not worried about that one bit. In this area, the goalkeeper, although he's done well in Italy, Premier League is unproven. So to get another um, defender that we don't know too much or certainly hasn't played in the Premier League is also worrying. I don't want to have a situation where we've got two positions exactly with the same um, situation where neither of them have played in the Premier League. That's just my my, my, my first thoughts, guys. Maybe they're the, the wrong ones. I don't know. Um, that's how I feel today. Obviously, the, if, the more I get to know about them, um, the better perhaps I will feel. Um, but let me know your thoughts in this um, in regards to the defenders. Who do you feel is the more appropriate uh, partner for Romero? Um, is there any other player that perhaps we haven't looked at that we should be looking at to bring in to partner Romero? Your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment and subscribe. And as always, forever always, come on. <laughs>